Hello everyone, I am here in Pennsylvania at Fort Necessity. I had some videos of a visitor center that's on the other side of the trees over there. This is Fort Necessity here. I did a few short videos of this area. I hope you like it and I will talk to you next time. An ocean away, King George II decided that the colonists could no longer be trusted to hand after driving the French away. Braddock replied that it would belong to the English and that no savages should inherit the land. When Braddock's comments were reported to the nations of the Ohio Valley, many immediately joined the French. In 1760, Great Britain drove the French out of the colonial frontier, securing the empire's right to expand further westward. Before long, the growing British colonies rebelled against the sovereignty of the crown. George to victory in the War of Independence of the United States. Washington returned to southwest Pennsylvania, where he had first learned the tough lessons of war. In 1771, he had purchased the land where Fort Necessity once stood, thinking it might be a good location for an inn or tavern. Many settlers were moving into this rich farmland west of the mountains. Washington realized that without a proper road to link this territory, the produce of that country to pass to our markets before the train may get into another channel. In 1806, as Secretary of the Treasury under President Thomas Jefferson, Gallatin was essential in securing approval for the construction of the nation's first federally funded highway, which would run through Pennsylvania westwards all the way to Ohio. Construction of the National Road began in the spring of 1811, and portions of it closely shattered the path once cleared by Washington and Braddock. Building the road was expensive, but maintaining it even more so. The increasingly heavy traffic tore up the surface. To pay for the repairs, the state set up a series of buildings at regular intervals to collect tolls. The National Road would become an integral part of American history, eventually reaching into Indiana and Illinois, facilitating commerce, connecting towns and cities as the United States again transformed itself, this time through the Industrial Revolution. Interest in the National Road declined as railroad service connected the country faster, cheaper, and more comfortably than any wagon or stagecoach ever could. But in the 20th century, travelers rediscovered the historic National Road with a new mode of transportation. Portions of the historic National Road, still intact, were reborn as part of Route 40. Today, interstate highways allow travelers to speed by icons of the past. In western Pennsylvania, travelers can still find traces of the old National Road as Route 40 winds its way through beautiful mountain passes, quaint towns and villages, sweeping farmlands, and the battlefields of the past, of history commemorating those who built it, those who died on it, and those who saw the value of the Western land.
round trip before you get to there. It's a lot easier. Where the tree lines were in 1754, each of the white signs, and I don't know if you can see any of them, but there's signs all around here, the white signs, and that says tree line. And what the tree line was is how close the tree line was in vicinity to the fort. So the tree line was really close to the fort. So they were pretty much trapped in an area getting fired upon at Fort Necessity. <laughs> 